Hey guys, it's Nate, AKA The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do a different type of video today with all 22 screen players in packs right now. We are gonna do a 22 player pack opening. Uh, obviously, if we get one of these screen cards today, that is the goal, that would be freaking awesome. And uh, I just wanna try to get one of these guys in tradable in the club, or at least have a chance of getting a high rated pull um, from these screen players that are coming out or a high rated pull in general. I always like testing my luck with these two player packs, uh, the gold upgrade packs, uh, because in FIFA 18, I had really good luck with them. I packed a ton of great guys and I kind of did this every every promo week in FIFA 18. I would set up, you know, 15 to 20, two gold, two rare gold players packs and uh, test my luck for some promo cards. And in FIFA 18, it worked really well for me. FIFA 19, the gold uh, upgrade packs weren't that good. But here in FIFA 20, it seems like um, people are having some pretty good luck with them. So we're gonna open up 20 today. Just kind of a fun weekend video. Um, stepping away from weekend league, stepping away from the market, just to open up a few packs and see what we can get. It's gonna be 20 packs. I'm gonna probably skip most of the ones that are not a board or that are not a walkout to give the slow animation when we walk in just because uh, we don't want to mess with those too much. And I'm honestly hoping to get um, somebody from La Liga today. I would like to get a nice higher rated La Liga card, especially if it was like a guy I could link to PK. I have not done the PK SBC yet, and I'm very tempted to do it. But if I don't have somebody in my club that I can link him with very easily, which I don't at the moment, I'm probably not going to do that SBC and just save myself the coins. But if I do pack somebody that I would be able to link two PK in my squad, let's say a Semedo or a Jordi Alba, or maybe even a De Young, I would be very inclined to do, to go do the PK SBC, which by the way, if you guys haven't seen that SBC, a lot of people are doing it, especially by what you can see on the market in terms of other La Liga center backs being panic sold. Um, the amount of people doing that SBC is crazy. There's so much demand for that SBC card uh, because people say that he is he's very, very good in game so we are four packs in we really don't have anything yet not even a board everything has been a non board player yet which is unfortunate um hopefully we can get ourselves at least some higher rated as well yeah, even if it's like uh what i mean by that is like a higher rated non board so if we get like a an 80 rated furlan mendy or an 81 rated uh sissoko or you know whatever rating sissoko is i think i already have him on tradable so i don't really want him but here we go it's a first board player it is not a walkout, but it is a board. It's going to be Croatian striker. It's Mandzukic, huh? It is Mandzukic, which uh, he's going to come in helpful probably for the um, the milestone, Syria milestone player, which was released today. That Politano card, which actually is a pretty good looking card. So um, I'm probably going to end up using Mandzukic for that SBC. So there we go. First board. Um, are we five packs in? We were five packs in with our first board being Mandzukic. If we get a board every five packs, I mean, that's honestly not that bad, but we're looking to have some insane luck today because we want to pack screams, we want to pack informs and walkouts. That's what we want to see, that slow animation. So every time I do one of these pack opening videos, it's probably going to be during a promo. You're going to see me ripping open these packs while a promo team is in packs just because if it's not a promo, if it's just a juice team of the week, I'm, there's not really an incentive to me for doing these packs. And you're going to see plenty of other pack opening videos throughout the year. Uh, Quincy Promo is right there. That's a decent pull, 82 rated uh, for a non-board player. You're going to see me do a lot of pack opening videos throughout the year because I am a sucker for packs. I love doing upgrade packs. Um, I'm going to spend a lot of coins and upgrade packs during the year. Uh, but I'm going to let you guys have some fun with me when we do those. We're going to open a lot of them on stream. We'll op open up a lot of them here on YouTube. We're just going to be opening uh, packs as they come out. Another 82 rated. Another 82 rated card um, in Viviano. So we're getting decently high rated, but they're just not the boards or the walkouts. And I've had pretty good luck with these packs this year. So I'm looking for that streak to continue. Um, yesterday on the live stream... Uh, I was packing tons of incredible cards from Weekend League Rewards, and somebody had built up 42 player packs for me to open, uh, and I packed them Varan, untradeable, from those two player packs. So a Varan card for me today would be fantastic. We've kind of blown through these packs already. We are halfway through the packs, and this is our second board player. It is not a walkout, just a board again. Belgium, center back. It's 
gonna be um, company, right? Yes, company playing for Anderlecht, I believe is that badge. So that's another 83 rated. But hey, we're, we're keeping steady with our um, our previous rate. It is Anderlecht in the Belg Belgium League, that's right. We were keeping steady with our um, one board for per five packs. I would kind of like to change that though. I would kind of like to change that. 10 packs through, come on EA. Give me another board without being in the next five packs. Come on, man. That's what I want to see. The Scream players. Or like a Furland Mendy or something. Uh, that would be very nice. If I got Furland Mendy, I would be very tempted to do PK. I'll say it right there. If I got Furland Mendy untradeable, I would be very tempted to do PK because I could use him in my team um, at the moment he would fit in there. So I'm going to have to be doing that. Um, also today, oh, what is this? Is it a board? It's not a board. Unfortunately, it's not a board. Today, we got the uh, Mascherano CDM flashback SBC. I'm not sure how you guys were feeling about that one. It's not, honestly not too terrible of a card in my opinion, but um, at this early of the game, locking away how much how much ever that SBC costs, probably like 60 or 70K. I just don't know if it's actually worth it to put those coins away right now and not be able to do another board. Let's go. Dude, come on. EA, show me the walkouts, dude. Uh, Pjanic, uh, it's Visca. 84 rated Visca, Visca. Right mid. Oh man, that's unfortunate. Not too bad of a card. Always has like a, he's the guy that always has like a sick team of the season card when that time of the year comes around. Um, but it is an 84 rated and we have broken the streak of board players. Seven packs to go. I'm going to open pack seven. Lucky number seven, pack seven to see what we can get here. Come on, EA, throw us another board back-to-backs. It is not possible for us to get back-to-backs today. That is unfortunate, and it's going to be Lopez from Racing Club. That's a bit of an L. It is a bit of an L. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to do this today to try my luck, basically, at some of these packs. Obviously, EA is giving us pack SBCs every day. I have not packed anything that has been of a good value during this promo, so I hope that you guys have, of course. Um, but for me, it has not been that hot. And these are kind of the best way for me to spend a little bit of coins and have a decent amount of packs to open, but still, um, you know, not be breaking the bank, like doing the Bundesliga league SBC and getting tradable packs, but paying a lot for it. This is just a way to get some decent cards and, uh, open a few packs. That's why I'm doing the two rare gold player packs. All right, here we go. Five packs to go. Hopefully we can get another, let's say two slow walkout or board players there's not one there we go it is not a walkout ea sports what do i have to do oh my god sigurdsson 83 rated sigurdsson the everton man playing my spurs i'm wearing the spurs kit right now you can't really see the, the logo it's behind the mic there it is spurs logo everton versus spurs on sunday big game spurs need to keep their form up but we do get sigurdsson in that pack uh right there four to go Four to go, and we have had four board players, and that's about it. Can we get one more, please? EA Sports, FIFA. We cannot in this pack. It's going to be another non-board. An inform, at least, would maybe be nice, too, even if it's a discard. It's going to be Arnautovic, 82 rated. So we're getting a lot of the 82s, uh, but yeah, not the best. Not the absolute best. I'm probably, if nothing good happens from this pack opening, I'm probably not going to do many more packs for the um, foreseeable future during this promo. These cards are just so rare, man, which, you know, has its positives, has its negatives. We might not be able to pack them very easy, but they should rise a lot out of packs. And I'll talk about that right here at the end of the video, um, just to kind of go over that with you guys a little bit. Uh, center back, Musaccio. Musaccio. So these Scream cards are in packs until Sunday at 6 p.m. UK. That is how long these cards are in packs. So I wanted to get this video in today. To have a chance of packing them before they do go out of packs, but I know a lot of you guys want to know when you should buy these scream cards as well. We'll talk about that uh, just for a quick minute here at the end of the video. Raphael, 78 rated. It's another L in a pack opening. EA, one more pack. One more opportunity. We're going to do the nose pack. You ready, boys? Nose pack. There it is. Nose pack for the last pack, pack 20. Of a screen pack opening, it is not a board. That is unfortunate. So we got four board players. Mandzukic, Visca. I don't even remember the others because they were not memorable. Sigurdsson and somebody else. That was a bit of an L of a pack opening. If you've opened any of these packs, let me know how you did. Let me know how they went for you. 
They should have been decent, man. I, I did a lot of these packs earlier. I'm probably going to end up doing a few more, but not a set of 20 like this. I'm just a pack addict, man. Um, it, it's, it's just fun to open packs, you know? It really is. But I want to talk about these scream cards just for a second to end the video off. It is Saturday now. These cards are going out of packs in, you know, depending on when you're watching this video, almost in like the next 24 hours. Uh, so a lot of these cards, I think, have some room to drop a little bit more. They dropped when they came into packs on Thursday. Some of them rebounded. Some of them stayed at the same level. Zlatan was like 250, 260. He's down at 230. So he's down a decent amount right now, um, which I would kind of expect. He's not as meta or easily linkable. Not as many people are going to be able to throw them into their, their squads as maybe somebody like Bernard. I know a lot of people want to get this Bernard card for their teams. Right now, it shows on Footbin that he's somewhere around 200,000 coins, just a little over. When this man hit the packs last Thursday at 6 p.m. UK, he dipped down to under 190K. And two hours later, he was back up right around this price over 200. So this card has a ton of demand. So watch this card and watch all of these screen cards as we head at the end of the weekend, Saturday night. So basically, you know, eight to 10 hours before they go out of packs, Saturday night, you know, like midnight and later UK. So like midnight to 6 a.m. UK time is kind of what I call Saturday night. Watch the prices of those cards then if you're going to be awake. If you're not, if you're going to wake up on Sunday early in the EU, check these cards out really early on. Or if you can stay up late a little bit um, Saturday night, watch the prices of these cards uh, because they're going to be going out of packs and people are going to be thinking about investing in them. But you kind of want to you kind of want to be earlier. You want to be the first person to get out on these cards and make a move because when you're first, especially in a lot of areas of trading in FIFA, if you're the first person to make the move, you're going to be having the highest return on your investment the ROI because you're getting to it first before it's been inflated at all by other people opening or other people going out and buying these players for their squad. So, again, if it's any of these meta scream cards that you're interested in buying, my message to you is Saturday night, uh, overnight UK time. I think Odomeni is a good buy for a rise. Um, Deli Ali, Real Magnoli was 100K before he we went back into packs. Um, and the Serie A has plenty of informs now. So I think he's got some hype to him. Um, obviously, Bernard. Aguero's a bit high for a price range, but he's got to have a little bit of hype to him. Guerrero, honestly, will have some hype. James will have the hype because of the pace boost. And then from team two, um, Firmino is going to be very hyped. Adama, very hyped up. Insigne, very good. I honestly think that Gamero and Aspas are going to be pretty good uh, risers out of packs as well. A lot of these cards are just so rare, they're bound to rise out of packs because they don't have that much supply. So unfortunately for the YouTube video today, it wasn't the best pack pulls. It wasn't the best pack luck. But let me know if you guys had any good luck and if you're opening some more packs during the Scream promo. And if you have any questions about the Scream cards, you can drop them down below in the description. If you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.